What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guy. Today we're going to be looking at how to multiply a decimal number by a whole number. So let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, what do we need to remember today? Well, we're going to remember something a little bit strange. We're actually going to ignore the decimal at the start for our calculation and then we're going to put it back at the end. So let's see what that means with our first challenge, our green chili challenge. So our green chili challenge says 3.6 multiplied by 5. But remember, we're going to ignore the decimal at the start. So if we get rid of this decimal number just here, I end up looking at 36 times 5. And this becomes much more familiar when I am multiplying. So 36 times 5 would look like this. I put my 1s and 10s. 36 multiplied by 5. Put my answer row and I'm ready to begin with my smallest value, 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Put my 3 into the tens column ready and my 0 in the ones column. And then 5 times 3 is 15. Put my 3 here back and I have 18. So my answer to 5 times 36 is 180. But remember, that wasn't my question. My question was 3.6 times 5. So what I have to now look at is how many numbers after the decimal did I just ignore? Well, I can see my decimal place just here, and how many numbers afterwards? I have just one. So what I do now is I move my decimal place, which would be just here after the zero, because remember, 180 is the same as saying 180.0000, and I could do that forever. So my decimal place is just here, but I'm now gonna move it one place, and I'm gonna put it just here. So my actual answer is 18.0. So 3.6 times 5 is 18.0. Let's look at a slightly harder challenge. Let's look at our red chili challenge. And this time I can already see I have two digits after the decimal. So let's remember that later. But for now, get rid of our decimal place and leaves me with 386 multiplied by 6. Put my hundreds, tens and ones just for good measure. And my answer row, and I'm ready to begin. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 8 is 48. Plus my 3 is 51. Get rid of my 3. And then finally, 6 times 3 is 18. Plus my 5 is 23. Get rid of my 5. Leaves me an answer of 2,316. But remember, this time I had not one, but two numbers after my decimal that I ignored. So now that's right, I need to bring my decimal one, two numbers back. So now I have a final answer of 23.16. So 3.86 times 6 is 23.16. And that's as simple as it has to be. All we need to do is ignore the decimal from the calculation and then put it back at the end, decided by how many numbers after the decimal I have ignored. So now it's your turn. Have a go at these three questions here. I have a green, an orange, and a red chili challenge. Put your answers in the comment section when you've done it. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you have it. That is how to multiply a decimal by a whole number. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to find loads more videos for your age group. But for now, guys, I'm going to see you in another video. Peace out.